This little rock might be our best chance of finding life in our solar system, and possibly our only chance of finding it in our lifetime. But getting close enough to do that is not easy. This spacecraft launched in October 2024 is headed to Europa. Jupiter's radiation environment is intense, and Europa is a moon that sits in the worst part of that environment. There's these charged particles trapped in Jupiter's magnetosphere that rotate with it. These particles continuously slam against Europa and will also slam against any spacecraft that goes near it. To minimize the amount of time the spacecraft is in there, it will orbit Jupiter from afar and swoop in every few weeks to quickly fly by Europa and leave. Altogether, it will do 49 flybys to map the entire surface of this moon. But why do we think there's life on Europa? When Voyager 1 passed by Europa in 1979, it took this picture. And if you look at other moons in the solar system, you'll notice something. Craters, which you don't see many of on Europa. It's as if the surface is renewing itself. In the 90s, the Galileo spacecraft did a dozen flybys of Europa and discovered an induced magnetic field, which has led scientists to believe a global ocean is underneath this icy surface. And of course, the conditions would be harsh, but we've seen life thrive in some very unlikely places on Earth. And Europa's oceans could provide similar conditions. But here's the shitty part. Getting to Jupiter takes a very long time. The Europa Clipper will take about five and a half years to get there. And the closest planet to us outside of our solar system is over four light years away, which would take an eternity to travel with our current technology. So this might very well be the only place that we can travel to within our lifetime that presents a possibility of life, unless they come to us. Tell us what you think is in those oceans. 